Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Corner Flag and as you can see by the title we are reacting to Bafana Bafana versus Namibia and uh, yeah <laughs> we're just gonna get into it guys and see what's up um, I'm your host Shane and of course as you can see we are shooting at Islo Studio so uh, if you are a media person you do podcasting, recording, uh, photography whatever it is that you do we can definitely lace you up so you can hit us up on Instagram and uh, yeah, so just getting into today's performance, um, lackluster, lackluster performance, uh, really, really pop, you know, it wasn't really an exciting match at all. Um, I could have seen this coming, I'll say that I'll see, I saw this coming because even when um, I saw the selections, um, the attacking looks amazing. It looks more potent than it's ever looked in a very long time, which is something that <laughs> we didn't really think we could say as Bafana. But, you know, we have really, really good strikers, we have really, really good wingers. But as far as the midfielders go, we have good midfielders, but he chose majority defensive midfielders. So I was really concerned um, about that. I thought about where the creativity is going to come from. And the only real attacking midfielder that I saw that was selected from the jump was Temba Zwani and he was withdrawn due to injury. So that concerned me even more. Um, of course we saw uh, Bula Mori who got, you know, um, taken in his place. Um, we also saw uh, that Sipanola Sitola also came in. So I would say that the first half we saw a lot of the French players and um, some of the players were coming in for the first time. So we saw Kabume Lokori Sang finally getting his Bafana uh, call up. He did okay, you know, but he, he was a star forward, you know. The midfield lacked that attacking midfielder who plays like Tambas one and dictates that um, play and, 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 you know, starts those combinations. All we saw for the majority of the game was long balls. And even those long balls, the quality of those long balls was, was bad. It wasn't really, really good at all. Um, so, yeah, a lot of those went... Way word. I mean, we saw Lal Foster in there, didn't really see much from him also. Why? Because uh, not really enough service. Um, we saw Grand Magerman also, he did, played well, played well, but I don't know, man. I, I still feel like we need that big personality, big player sort of attacking midfielder who, who's going to, you know, change the game for us. Uh, these long balls really don't suit our style of play. We don't really have players who can dictate uh, that type of play, especially in the middle, you know. Our defensive midfielders are really good. Spelelips have probably played well. Obas, his second game, um, I think maybe a lot is expected of him because he had such an amazing debut. Uh, he really commanded that midfield. So today, uh, <laughs> you know, so hopefully he'll have a better game the next, the, the next time around. Um, so yeah, really wish we could have seen a little bit more from him. Uh, Sienda Krulu was back also in there and uh, Granke Kana also came in or came in um, in the second half so he played really really well. We also saw Lebo Mitiba also coming in um, after a long absence of course uh, but he's, he gives you that traditional sort of number nine sort of qualities you know uh, holds the ball up really really well, brings players into play but he needs a, play, a player who can play those one two as well with him because as soon as he brings it down gives it to a player goes out wide, he's in the box waiting for a cross and the ball goes there. <laughs> like from Yugo Mobile, like he's practicing for the box we're playing tomorrow. So I feel like that was um, something that really, really didn't do well for us. The style of play didn't suit us. So hopefully when we go to AFCON, we will have a few more um, attacking midfielders playing there. Um, in the next game against Congo, I think maybe we will see them more uh, the core team or the first team I'll say um, with the players who played a lot more um, during the qualifiers and actually helped us qualify to um, the Africa Cup of Nations of course so um, yeah it, it was an uninspired sort of you know performance the, the forwards didn't do too badly I'll say you know it, it was just more so a case of you know one guy trying to do this and you know like Saleh he played well um probably our best attacker today but yeah you know we didn't get to play a lot of combinations so if you're doing a lot of things alone i feel like that does impact the quality of the game that you can have so he played really really well but you know didn't really get rewarded for uh his efforts kori sang also yeah played 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 decently but also you know didn't really do um you know to uh, yeah didn't really get too much service and he's one of those players who scores difficult difficult goals i'm sure you saw in the snapshot where um you know just controlled it with his right foot and hit it quickly with his left 
Um, it's get it over, but this close to scoring. But you know, those are the type of goals that he plays and uh, um, type of goals that he scores. And uh, he's he's really really effective when he gets in and around uh, the 18 yard area. So yeah, didn't really get to to, to see much of that today uh, due to service, of course. Um, there's a lot of room to improve for the boys. Uh, hopefully, you know, in the next game against Kwame on Tuesday, um, we'll be playing our first team and maybe we'll see where we're headed in terms of style of play and what it is that Bruce is trying to do. I do think that once the competition does start, we are going to need a few more attacking uh, midfielders in there. Now, my Emma maybe should have gotten a uh, uh, call up Ethan Chislett also because it's friendly, you know, and he wanted to see players maybe give these guys a shot, you know. Um, I understood Shoba also. He was asked about him. Uh, you know, he gave some roundabout answers. <laughs> um, he could have just, you know, said, okay, I don't know who Ayanda Sichoba is, but maybe he's a player that we'll look at, you know? So, yeah, we want Ayanda Sichoba, hashtag, spread it everywhere. Um, we do want this boy to, 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 to play for us, of course. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get to see a better performance on Tuesday. Um, Pesita, or maybe we'll get to see him play. Of course, uh, Bruce did say that originally he wanted to play Motiva um, against Congo on Tuesday, you know, so I think we're going to see um, what type of tactics that he has in store for us. Mayan Bela as well, also a big player we didn't really get to see also. So, yeah, until the next game, hopefully we'll improve. Uh, but if any if this performance is anything to go by, we're going to be in trouble at AFCON. So, uh, yeah, power to the boys. We are hoping to see a better performance from you guys. Um, so yeah, until the next episode, I'll see you again next time. And yo, if you haven't already, please leave your subscription, like, share, and let's spread the community uh, everywhere. So yeah, hashtag corner flag, hashtag the shade. You know where it's at. See you again next time.